Children, let us discuss the solutions for the assignment one. Now, the first question we need to find the smallest number using two digits. It is nothing but one and zero, ten, and the smallest three digit, four digit, and six digit numbers will be hundred, thousand, and one lakh. I hope you remember the place values which we have studied. That is, this zero is in ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands. And thousands and lakhs so this is one lakh and the largest numbers that is formed with two digits is 99 and the largest three digit number will be 999 the largest four digit will be 9999 and six digits will be six nines that is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine now the second one write the smallest and the largest six digit numbers that can be formed using the given digits here the digits given are 1, 4, 5, 6, 3 and 9. In writing the smallest 6 digit number, we need to keep the numbers, write the digits in ascending order. Means the smallest digit should be written first. The smallest of this is 1. So 1 is written first, then 3, then 4, then 5, 6 and 9. So it becomes 1,34,569. And if you want to write the largest 6 digit number, the largest digit should be written first that is 9 so 9 should be there in the first that is lakhs place then 6 then 5 4 3 and 1 so it is 9 lakh 65431 we can follow the same rule for writing this but if you see the third one here it is having digit 6 4 5 8 9 and 0 when you use the same rule here for writing the smallest six digit number you need to keep zero in the first place that is here that is in lakhs place but if you keep it in the lakhs place here what happens is because this zero is in lakhs place this becomes only a five digit number so we need to write the next smallest digit that is given here in the first place and zero should be written next to it so the smallest digit next to zero given here is four so 4 is written in lakhs place, then 0 in 10,000, then 5 in 1,000, 6, 8 and 9. So it becomes 4 lakh 5,689. And 0 doesn't make any difference in writing the largest 6 digit number. So it is 9 lakh 86,540. These are the solutions for the assignment. Yes. Now, when we try to understand the value of a number, what type of values does a number have? Now, if we try to understand the values of the number, a number is having two values named as place value and face value. Now, in the last class we have understood about digits. We know if the symbol is 3, its original value is 3. That original value itself of that number is called as the face value. In other words, the face value or the value of the number is always the same. But when that 3 is kept in a different place, because of its place, it gets a value which is called as its place value. Like if I have place 0 here, now, 3 is not in 1's place. Can you tell me what is the place of 3 now? 3 is in 10's place. Because 3 is in 10's place, the place value of 3 is the face value multiplied by its place. This is nothing but the face value and it is multiplied by the place. So, we get uh, 3 tens are 30 will be the place value of this particular 3 here. So, you should try to understand the difference in between place value and place value of different digits. In class 4, we have studied the Indian numeration till lakhs. So, let us see a few examples in this like if 4596 is given, if what is the place value of 5 
and what is the face value of phi if you try to understand the face value will always remain the same as the value of the number face value will never change the number's face value and its value is always be the same so it is phi then what is its place value so if you try to understand what is its place value the face value of the number multiplied by the place in which that particular digit is present in that number is called as the place value now you know the place values this is in ones place this is in tens place this is in hundreds place and this is in thousands place so phi is in hundreds place so phi should be multiplied by 100 when you are multiplying phi by 100 we get 500 so 500 is the place value of 5 in 4596 now one more example for you 67359 now i want to know what is the face value as well as the place value of the underlying digit 6 so the face value will always remain the same as told but the place value is the face value multiplied by the place in which the digit is in that number the place in which the digit is in that number now if you see this is in ones place this is in tens place hundreds place thousands and 10000 so we should multiply it with 10000 when we multiply it with 10000 60000 is the place value of 6 in this particular digit that is 67359 now what is the place value of 7 the place value of 7 is 7 should be multiplied by this 7 is in which place ones tens hundreds thousands place so 7 is multiplied by 1000 when 7 is multiplied by 1000 we get 7000 then what is the place value of 3 yes you can tell me so 3 into 100 that is 300 is the place value what is the place value of 5 so 5 is the place value and into 5 is in tens place so 5 is the place value now what is the place value of 3 This is nothing but the expanded form of the number. This is nothing but the expanded form. Mean all the place values added together will give us the expanded form of the number. Now, if you add all these, you get sixty-seven thousand three hundred and fifty-nine, which is the same number here. So, my dear children. in this particular video we try to understand the difference in between face value place value and how to write a number in its expanded form for example if there is a number 9873 or uh, 98000 or we can make it as 6 lakhs 98732 we can write it as 6 lakhs is the place value of 6 plus 90000 is the place value of 9 plus 8000 is the place value of 8 plus 700 is the place value of 7 plus 30 plus 2 this is the expanded form of 6 lakh 98732Hey children i hope you have understood the difference between place value and face value and also how to write the numbers in their expanded form so this is an assignment for you please try to do it in the next class we will try to meet with the answers of this assignment thank you and have a nice day